Whilst we were primarily distracted by the sleaze of Boris Johnson's lying and rule-breaking, Preeti Patel got a racist nationality and borders bill passed. The Tories cheered as it passed by 298 votes to 231. This bill will scapegoat migrants, attack refugees by criminalising asylum and enabling the government to strip British people of their citizenship without notice or giving a reason. It is an utterly fascist piece of legislation and is not something a democracy should even dream of passing. Whilst establishment journalists cried over their Tory mate Allegra Stratton being used as a ball guy for Johnson, they ignored this. Whilst Keith can tweet within minutes his sycophantic congratulations to the Johnsons on the birth of distraction plan C, he has tweeted out nothing about this racist policy, nor the racist abuse faced by many of his PLB colleagues. We live in a multicultural society, it enriches us and it makes the UK what it is, has gifted us so many things that we take for granted perhaps, from basic things such as our diverse cuisine to being truly representative on the international stage. As a result of this regressive, backwards, racist bill, 41% of the non-white public can now find themselves eligible to have their citizenship stripped from them, according to the Office for National Statistics. In total, we're talking about some 6 million people. White privilege just became an even bigger issue since this will disproportionately affect people of non-white, non-Christian backgrounds. Only 5% of whites would be affected, all without giving anybody affected a reason as to why they might be stripped of their citizenship and all the rights that go with that, including a right to appeal it. If you're born here and you have no foreign citizenship, you can do what you like. You'll never lose your citizenship. Everyone else is vulnerable now. Citizenship is your right to have rights. The Tories are prepared to take that away from a large part of our society, and right now it's up to the Lords to sort this out. How long do you think it'll be before they come for more of us they don't like if they pass this law?